know what time is it. <laughs> Our first guest is in studio. She's a young lady. She goes by the name Lisa Maria. She's a charcoal artist and a founder, a CEO at a very young age, and a student as well. Staki could dilute him and Sana. She'll tell us all about herself, <laughs> about her art, and inspire young people out there. Sawa Sawa. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Am I you good? Right now, Sai Sai, as we speak, mm -hmm. do you have any Kenyan song on your phone? On your playlist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Which one? Many. Many. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, Madam. Mm -hmm. I have madam. I have a whole playlist of Gengeton. So no one, no one don't want to check out what I'm saying. I see, I see, I see why. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. Kindly introduce yourself and tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. um, my name is Lisa Maria. Mm -hmm. I'm a charcoal artist. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a dog. Okay, uh, relax. I mean. J. Court University. I'm in mean second year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I study architecture. Mm -hmm. I'm also the founder of Marie Arts Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's still growing, but yeah. yeah pole Pole. Yeah. Okay, so um, charcoal, um, doing charcoal art, is it something that you started way back in the days? Am I something that you just started recently? I was an artist from a very young age, mm -hmm. but I discovered charcoal art in 2018. I didn't know it existed before that. Uh -huh. So yeah, I fell in love with charcoal art and I decided that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But I can also do pencil art, mm -hmm. I can also paint, mm -hmm. but I just go with charcoal. With charcoal art, yeah. yes. So what is it about charcoal art that you find very um, interesting? What captured your eye about charcoal art? You, s you said that you can draw, you can paint, you can do pencil art, but why charcoal? I like charcoal because it's dark. Mm -hmm. You see how <laughs> dark this drink is? Just literally dark, not, <laughs> uh, not like you know. Dark, dark, um, uh. No, the <laughs> drawing is literally dark. <laughs> yeah, it, uh -huh. it brings out some really good contrast when mm -hmm. you have like shadows mm -hmm. and lights. Mm -hmm. The white mm -hmm. and the black mm -hmm. really comes out when you use charcoal more than mm -hmm. pencil. You said you've started in 2018 yeah. and now it's 2020. How long, um, how long did it take you to like master the art, kamsa kamsa, like nicely and actually do something that you can be proud of? Um, it wasn't that hard mm -hmm. considering I was an artist before that. Yeah. And I'm a self-taught artist, mm -hmm. so it wasn't I could yeah, discover, yeah, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So I just had to learn that, you know, when you use pencil, mm -hmm. it's you first do the light parts mm -hmm. and then you do the dark the parts. Dark parts yeah. When you use charcoal now, mm -hmm. you do the dark parts mm -hmm. and then now you start adding the light parts. Mm -hmm. So that's the only big difference. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. really. So what tools do you use when you're doing your drawings? Just paper, mm -hmm. charcoal, mm -hmm. and an eraser. You have them, right? Yeah. Can you just show us? OK, so paper you just get from a sketch pad. Mm -hmm. Just a normal sketch pad? Yeah, just a normal uh -huh. sketch pad. OK. But you can also do charcoal art on canvas. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. still working on how I can do that. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can also combine it with acrylic paint. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. And then I had to put them in a bag because mm -hmm. you know, where's the baba So let me just put them here. Mm -hmm. This oh. is basically, this is what I use to blend uh -huh. in the charcoal. This is oh, the that's a, that's this an, an earbud. Yeah, it's an earbud. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. This is an eraser, uh -huh. <laughs> which is dark as <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is just pieces of charcoal. Uh -huh. Have you like sculpted them? No, you can oh. buy them actually. Oh, you can buy you them. Can so buy them. you go picking the charcoal that's you used can do for all of them. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they're all the same. <laughs> it's just that this one is a bit more refined, so uh -huh. it's a bit easier to use. Uh -huh. But you can use. For me, I mix both because mm -hmm. I need a different shade mm -hmm. of oh, the charcoal. Oh, the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is this here? Oh, this is a spray, uh -huh. it's a sheen spray, the normal hair spray. 
Yeah, like, spray. Yeah. <laughs> but then now when you draw using charcoal, mm -hmm. you know you can just rub it off easily. Yeah. So when you spread this and leave it to dry, mm -hmm. it won't rub off as Oh easy. yeah. Like you won't just yeah, it's gonna it. fix it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what are some of the challenges um that you've seen while doing your art? While doing my art. Mm -hmm. Um my biggest challenge mm -hmm. is I don't think people understand mm -hmm. how big art is because most people will say Ah, so you are friends. You mm -hmm. just draw for me. Yeah. CG. Mm -hmm. And Nichore. Yeah. <laughs> for free. And you're uh -huh. like, how do I sit down mm -hmm. and draw a portrait of you for like seven hours? And then it I takes give you, you seven for hours. It depends on the drawing. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. some that will take three hours, mm -hmm. some two hours, some mm -hmm. seven, some twenty four, depending mm -hmm. how big it is. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. The complexity. Uh -huh. yeah. So you know, when you sit down for like eight hours and then someone comes, you give me this for free. Wow. Hey. <laughs> to spend it was a booty, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, what other challenge have you encountered? Um, it's not that because since charcoal is easy to find, mm -hmm. so oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So the so materials are easily the materials accessible. Are yeah, are accessible. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting frames. Frames mm -hmm. are a bit expensive out there, mm -hmm. so we are getting affordable frames that actually look good. Because mm -hmm. you know, it has to look good on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, so um, for maybe uh, th or whatever we have here, mm -hmm. what are the price ranges for your art? For my art, mm -hmm. um, this is an A3 portrait of me. Mm -hmm. So if you want that, I can do it for you at about 7,000 bob. Mm -hmm. and then if it's like per extra head, now you add 1,000 mm -hmm. bob. So if you're a couple, yeah. it will be 8,000. Yes. If you, there are three people like that. Uh -huh. like that. So. And then... This one is an owl, mm -hmm. an owl. This one for this one, I'll charge six thousand mm -hmm. because it's a bit easier compared to a face. Yeah, a by human the way, face. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a lion. This mm -hmm. goes the same. Yeah. So it it depends with um, whatever you're drawing, the size, yeah. and what else. Just what um just what you need. If it's a portrait, or if you want me to do a landscape, mm -hmm. or a butterfly, mm -hmm. depends depending on the complexity, mm -hmm. and then also the size. Who is the hardest, okay, maybe the not the hardest, but what are some of the difficult clients, um, what are some of those difficult things that clients want you to do? Um, you know, when people want portraits, mm -hmm. there are different types. There are yeah. some that are in pencil, mm -hmm. in color. Mm -hmm. So that you find someone coming saying, I want a portrait, mm -hmm. but I do charcoal art, but they don't understand that Yeah. Part. So you'll say, okay, so I want my shirt in blue and my what? And you, there's no blue charcoal, and they have a charcoal art. Wait, they know that you're doing charcoal yeah. art, but they want blue shirt. Yeah. Or so maybe colored something. Colored something, mm -hmm. yeah. But I do, at times, incorporate the color, mm -hmm. but that will be a bit more expensive, because now I have to go buy colored pencils mm -hmm. and figure out how to work it out with charcoal. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But clients are really not that difficult to work with. Uh -huh. I try to be as open-minded <laughs> as I can. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so you're in school and studying architecture. Yes. Uh, um, how do you, okay, right now people are not in school as much, but I understand that universities are stu still studying online. So how do you balance the time to draw and the time to study as well? Um, I guess it just comes because drawing is easy for yeah. me. It's, it's something I really love to mm -hmm. do. You know the way you can just like cooking so you get mm -hmm. bored, you mm -hmm. get tired of reading and say let me go cook something. Kitchen, yeah. no, for me it's I get tired uh -huh. so I say let me draw something and yeah. I meet a Rudy mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I end up drawing almost daily. If I don't draw in a day maybe the next day I'll do two because it's something that's in Wait. me. <laughs> if one takes you seven hours mm -hmm. and you have to study in between maybe yeah. and you might do two in a day. Yeah. <laughs> I like drawing more than books. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the type of people in class when the show was teaching you just drawing sketches. Who can Yeah, ata kati kati notes. Okay, we see you. We see you. <laughs> How are your parents taking um, taking your art and then you're still studying? My parents are really okay with it. They're mm -hmm. very excited about it. Mm -hmm. As long as I can balance, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they are very excited about it. They tell their friends, mm -hmm. and they're very supportive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about um, your company. My company yeah. is Marie Atski. Mm -hmm. I just started it through charcoal art. Yeah, 
but I just wanted to make charcoal at noon mm -hmm. because a lot of people have never heard about it. So through Marie at now is where I want to work with other charcoal artists mm -hmm. and bring them out and make them known. And then now have different avenues of charcoal because I, like I've told you, there's acrylic, mm -hmm. there's all that. And I also want to do various art galleries around the country, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you done any so far? Not yet, uh -huh. but I um, might open one next year. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And You're ambitious. <laughs> I'll let you know. When yes, it's done. please do. Mm -hmm. So this, but my art galleries are going to be different. You know, when you go to an art gallery, it's usually just art mm -hmm. and sculptures yeah. and all that. But what I wanted to do is incorporate um, art and something classy. Mm -hmm. So you can. What do you mean by something? Something classy, classy means when you're. Have you seen in movies when people go to museums yeah. and they serve the wine mm -hmm. and yeah, some yeah, coffee? Yes. Mm -hmm. some Not dressing in some way. Artists mm -hmm. dress in the you know. Yeah. We wear overalls when drinking. <laughs> so it's not, yeah, but it's just, I wanted people to feel art without feeling like I'm in a museum. Mm -hmm. I, want them, I wanted them to experience it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So how many charcoal artists are you currently working with? Uh, charcoal company? artists? Um... I have around four, mm -hmm. around four, mm -hmm. yeah, so far, mm -hmm. and they're all doing really well. I actually have a friend who used charcoal for the first time the mm -hmm. other day, <laughs> and it turned out really well. <laughs> really uh -huh. nice, yeah. If someone wanted to be part of your team, mm. are there any requirements? No, just text me. If, mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to be an artist and you don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. I'll teach you. Mm -hmm. Specifically charcoal artist or any yeah. other kind of artist. Specifically charcoal, charcoal artist. artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you mind sharing maybe contact details where they can text you? Yeah, you can. That camera. Oh, you mm -hmm. can get me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Marie at KE, and on Twitter at Marie Lisa. Oh, yeah. And you can email me at Marie at ke at gmail.com mm -hmm. and I also have a website www.marieart.com Okay, yeah, nice. So if you want to um, be part of a team that does charcoal artistry, you can contact her as you've had her Instagram pages and you can get to grow and to grow your art, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, in the morning, like you have had Sulkunol Zawatu, would you <laughs> be best friends with Someone you find very attractive. What do you think? I think my friends are all attractive. I don't have a friend who's ah, ugly. One. Okay. No, like, oh, oh, don't put it in the sense no. that ugly, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, there, there are Apala. people, by the way, who are extra, extra attractive. I would. Why not? You would. You would. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, Mika, you and Marie. Same as our group. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, maybe. I have very attractive friends. Very. Yeah. Now they have She's pretty. So, in Tafikiria after that. You can just acknowledge God's creation. Yeah. You can just acknowledge God's creation. Yeah. You can just acknowledge God's creation. Yeah. Yeah. Too yeah. But, mm. okay. but I'm finding a hard time yeah, believing, <laughs> believing that, that but <laughs> your opinion at least you are forced to put you on this other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, Any, uh -huh. But you know, connect to our party. It's being attracted to someone. Any new lem says Katani Bishako, yes, like you guys are close. But you know, Kunabiluna una monanga to someone like come on your no one gekoa. There are many factors that see for the skier. Yeah, uh -huh. There are many factors that you consider. Who can zaku katiam to see a thing when you to It could be how they think or the things they do. You know that will yeah. make you be attracted to them. Yeah. So in a sense, what you're saying is yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear you? Leani una takatu. Anyway, thanks so much for coming through to the show. Okay, and thank you for hope that um, your organization grows and we see more charcoal art and we see the gallery next year. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone you'd like to shout out? Uh, 
just all my friends and my mom and my dad and my sister. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one last one before we wind up. Between Timothy Dad and Red Sun, who would you vote for? <laughs> I think I know your answer. But <laughs> <laughs> who do you vote for? Red Whose Sun. music do you find? I'd go for Red Sun. You'd go for Red Sun. Because of music, come on, is attractive, come on, what? Oh, the music. God. <laughs> 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 I see. You. You're a cool sana. So, you can head over to our f- um, Facebook page, Twitter page, cast your vote. Sawa, sawa. Mm-hmm. You, you as well. Okay, cast your vote. Mm-hmm. Yes, kuna link pale Facebook. Remember, um, today battle of the best is between Red Sun and Timothy Dad. So, end up pale Facebook. Kuna link apo, itakupeleka Twitter, ama wende directly on Twitter and cast your vote. Yep. So, we are taking a short musical break. Don't you go anywhere. We'll